The Pregnant Body, Third Trimester Reaching week 27 of your pregnancy means you're now in the third and final trimester. While this trimester could end at week 40, in reality, it ends whenever the baby is born. A baby is considered to have been born full term if it is born in weeks 37 to 42 of pregnancy. A baby born before week 37 is considered premature. If a baby has not been born by week 42, labor may be induced. There are several changes that you will notice in the body during the third trimester. One of the most noticeable things is that the fatigue you experience early in pregnancy tends to return. As the third trimester begins, you go back to feeling almost as tired as you did in the first trimester. This tiredness is partly physical due to the weight gain and partly mental because it often seems like the pregnancy will never end. Also in the third trimester, you may find parts of your body swelling up slowly without warning. This can be uncomfortable and sometimes maybe even dangerous. You may experience fingers and toes getting tight. Swelling on the hands, feet, and other parts of the body may be an indication of high blood pressure, anemia, heart disease, or problems with the kidney. Always talk with your doctor about any swelling you may be experiencing. To deal with the swelling, rest with your feet up, lie on your side, perform some moderate exercise, wear comfortable clothes, and eat a low-salt diet. You may experience a lack of bladder control. With your growing baby pressing on your urinary bladder, you are likely to feel the urge to pass urine every few minutes. This is normal unless you also have pain or burning while urinating. Although rushing to the toilet every few minutes may be uncomfortable and leaking urine whenever you laugh may be embarrassing, do not stop drinking water. Dehydration can affect the health of both you and the baby. In the third trimester, you may find that stretch marks become glaringly obvious because the abdomen is so large. Most stretch marks will disappear sooner or later. They can also be minimized by making your skin soft by using oils and moisturizers. Make sure the products you use to moisturize your skin are recommended for use during pregnancy. As your body prepares for the contractions of labor, you may experience Braxton Hicks contractions. Unlike true contractions, Braxton Hicks contractions are usually isolated contractions that occur only once in a while, especially at the end of the day when you feel tired. Braxton Hicks contractions do not occur at regular intervals and do not progress in intensity. However, when in doubt, get checked out. You may also notice an experience called lightning. In the last trimester, your baby will move down from your abdomen into the pelvis. The head will then be placed at the opening of the bony birth canal of the pelvis. This can happen as early as the 36th week in first pregnancies. This will cause your abdomen to suddenly look different as the shape of your baby bump appears lower. The moving or dropping of your baby into the pelvis is actually a good sign. It means that your pelvis is likely large enough to hold and deliver the baby. It also means that your body is preparing for that special delivery. In some women, the veins of the legs become prominent during the third trimester. If your bulging veins make you feel uncomfortable, report them to your doctor. Exercise and supportive stockings may bring some comfort to varicose veins. A few expectant mothers find a painless prominence in the anal area during the third trimester. These may be in the form of hemorrhoids or piles. Hemorrhoidal suppositories, creams, and ointments can provide some relief. Don't lift heavy objects. Avoid straining and minimize time on the toilet. Eat high fiber foods and stay hydrated. In the last three weeks of pregnancy, you may experience disturbed sleep. This is due to discomfort 
because of the hugely enlarged uterus and because of your underlying worry about the onset of labor and fear about the labor process. Attend a good prenatal class that will help explain the onset of labor and delivery. Knowing what is going to happen helps prepare the mind and body. Ask about comfortable sleep postures in your prenatal classes and consider a pregnancy pillow. The third trimester is the time when you're almost about to receive your bundle of joy. Enjoy this last phase, but stay alert for any bleeding through the vagina, any abdomen pain, and any decrease in the baby's movements. Whether you are expecting your first child or your fourth, giving birth can be a roller coaster of emotions. Having a new baby can be pure bliss, but it can also be equally exhausting and overwhelming. You may find that once routine tasks are difficult to do due to lack of time, lack of energy, or both. The time before you have your baby is valuable for more than checking logistic things off the list. Taking time out for yourself, both alone and with your partner, is very important. You will love your new baby in an all-consuming way, but you might still miss having alone time or a quiet moment with your partner. Consider going on vacation or a baby moon before the baby comes. It is likely that this will be the last time you'll be able to have a child-free getaway for some time. Thank you for watching.